Hi, I'm Alison and I do um, production horticulture for the kitchen garden. I propagate all the vegetables. Dan's the head chef and so Dan and I will sit down and he'll plan out a menu for the next season and then I can plan what to plant for that for that time. We're growing our own food but it's it's actually real. We, we do have that full-size garden and the produce is going down and going into the cafe as well. It's not just a token garden. So it's 5,000 acres, the whole farm. Yeah, the lamb and the beef come from there too. Uh, I think we measured it out. Some is, you know, five metres away. And, you know, I think the furthest is 35 metres away. <laughs> so it's literally paddock to plate. A vegan salad on the menu at the moment, which is pretty much everything from the garden within that salad. And we try and pick in the morning, and so by lunchtime, you're eating fresh that morning. The idea is when you're coming through the farm gate, so through the entry, you're entering into the vegetable garden that would be on, on a farm. To get your hands in the soil and get back to where everything's grown and how it's grown. And it's really, really fascinating for the kids, they love it. I love starting from the very beginning, so I love the fact that a seed knows what it is and the germination from seed to seedling and then planting it out and watching it grow and then being able to harvest from that plant, it's just extra extraordinary. It, it just blows my mind every single time. When the strawberries are growing too, I encourage the kids, you know, try one, you can, you can you know, grab it there and then and, and eat it, it's fine. I call it their lollies because it's so sweet and it's so gorgeous, it's really beautiful. Yeah, everyone's trying to steal my job. <laughs> um, but I really enjoy it, so yeah, I'll be here for a while. It's just a little oasis in the middle of nowhere and they were able to create this 